Hello everybody, welcome back to FTL's Advanced Captain Division. Last episode was the Nebula Drifter. That went well. And now we're moving on to yet the well, yet another of our custom ships. The next in line in the which has now been known to be called the Bio and the Collab. Ugh. Whatever, right? Yes, the sixth. Yeah. Sixth ship in the collab, the Mother Hen. Uh, looking pretty nice. Had some custom work done to this one. Namely, because of. Um, there was something wrong with it. Yeah, it didn't have a cloaking image. Probably because it was only used in events that didn't end up with the ship turning hostile or the ship not being able to be equipped with cloaking. Anyway, I had to create that myself. Uh, other than that. Good. Um, changes from the last time you saw this one on my channel is one less human because someone forgot to think about f having four starting crew with a four slot teleporter, was a bit too overpowered, and the other dude in the collab not bothering to tell that other dude. <coughs> yes. I was the other dude that didn't tell anyone. Because I liked it. Uh, anyway, yes, there's a story to this one. Might as well go over it. It's not as long as the previous one, but I still like it. Anyway, story by Annie Stuffs. Or Annie Stuffs. Mother... It's Annie. <clears throat> Mother Hen was literally a museum piece. She was kept for exhibition at a Federation military museum while her crew of four human doctors was stationed at the nearby Federation hospital. When the war spread to their sector as well, the four doctors decided to dust her off once more to help with the evacuation efforts. Unfortunately, with their weak offensive weapons, basically laser ions thinner, they quickly ended up in a. They quickly ended up in a battle, biting off more than they could chew. A rebel rigger sporting a combat, two drone and ion blast shredded the mother hen and killed three of the crew. And a breach missile took off the entire med bay section of the hull, before the last crew member could make a desperate jump to a beacon inside. An ooh, typo again. <coughs> You're uh, losing your touch there. Anyway, it's still better writing than I could do so. Um, to his surprise there was a secret Federation base hidden inside the asteroid field. The base just patched up a ship, recovered from the rebel stronghold and sent off half their crew with it, carrying an information vi ooh, an information ooh, that's two. An information oh don't worry about it, this is an inside joke, it's not that I'm really hacking on it. Anyway, an information vital to the remaining Federation fleet. The two remaining crew members were about to leave the base to hide in the nearby systems from the encroaching rebel fleet, when they were surprised by the arrival of a badly damaged medivac ship. Mother Hen. Hearing the doctor's tale, the officers in charge decided to patch up the Mother Hen to space worthiness once more. Unfortunately, the medbay could not be repaired due to the lack of equipment at the base. When the rebel fleet was detected to enter the system, the three decided to take off the ship as is. Uh, does the three decide to take off? Isn't shouldn't it be to take off with the ship? Could that be a third one? And hoped to repair them at bay at a civilian store along the way. They also carried a copy of the vital information and hoped to reach the remaining Federation fleet while helping anyone in distress along the way with their medical supply teleporter. With the weapons still being what they were, the new crew decided that instead of gunning down enemy ships, it would be more viable to use a large four-person teleporter originally used for medical evacuation to board enemy vessels and kill the crew in close quarter combat. With their strategy settled, the mother hen took off once more, probably for the last time. A rusty old Federation medivac straight out of the museum, now burned with not only saving the lives of soldiers and civilians, but the entire Federation. Well written there. Anyway, uh, yes, the mother hen. So this is it. Uh, teleport three bombs filled with nanomed bots to injured crew. Deals two ion damage when it hits. Has a long fuse timer so you know where to guide your crew to when the bombs do end up dropping. Four star teleporter, three humans, nomad bay or clone bay. But you do have a recon teleporter. And... Um, your basic weaponry. That is all there is to it. So before we kick things off, let me check the recording. I think it's gonna be fine, but you know, better save than sorry, right? My game crashed as soon as I hit start. <laughs> Odd. 
Let's hope it doesn't do it again. Hey, we're good. Cool. So it probably was just a weird thing that happened. It does that sometimes. Uh, neat. And he's not trying to run. And I don't know if that's a double laser. So we're going in with two people at once. Right, both to weapons and one to shields. Should make this a fairly easy fight. That's a double shot. Alright. Well, there goes the teleporter, which means I wonder what's going to happen with our crew when we get back. Will we get healed, yes or no? I don't actually know what's going to happen now. Well, I do know we're going to use a shuttle to get back, but I don't, know if, I don't know if that triggers the recon teleporter. Normal life signs, carrying, blah, blah, blah. trade goods, basic chemicals. No. That's okay. We'll get healed on the way to them. Don't think the artillery would have fired, so... Couldn't really wait for that. Although I could have probably quit the game, start again, and the artillery would have fired. Because it's been doing weird stuff as of lately. I don't know if it would have fired on a neutral ship, though. I doubt it. Probably would have missed, uh, anyway. Um, attack before he can attack. Hmm, that's a mantis. Uh, with a sort of teleporty thing, but taking down one weapon will give us safety. Let me time our own. We need both shots to hit, though. Alright. We could port in now, but I want to wait a little bit longer. At least take out that med bay. System casing. Oh, it's been a while since I had to deal with you, and you're still annoying as ever. And now we're the misses are starting to roll in. Okay. Uh, which means we're porting in before that mantis gets a chance to repair that weapon. Uh, I'm gonna port in here because I don't want anyone to land in the med bay. That would be kind of bad. Let's halt that fight a little bit. There goes the med bay. Cool. Alright, you go out, you go in. Now you're almost dead. Oh my god. Um, 24, 18. Out and in. Alright, we win. Out. Out. Can I upgrade shields is by one now, which we'll do. No store to sell off our trade goods yet. That's a mine launch, which is annoying as fudge. Okay. I got weapons, that's kind of annoying. Oh, it's one of the big mines. Ugh. Well, we're not dodging it. I was almost ready to fire that, you boobs. We're gonna take a lot of damage here, I think. And there's another three. And he's out of mines. Finally. Good. Well, finally, I mean. Let's see if he can shoot it down. It's 
it's always cool when you can do that. Nope. Nope. And we're not dodging it either. Alright, let's take that down. Probably thinking about running right about now, aren't you? This is taking forever. Alright. Great. So much stuff I need to hit. So many misses. UR engines. It doesn't really matter, actually, but... You know. Alright, so shields are fully repaired, thanks to our glorious, glorious chance of hitting. And that's not even a level 1 hack. Alright. Uh, I'm pretty sure the ship is going to get away. Yeah, never get that feeling like, you know, he's got nothing left on you, but you still won't be able to take him down just because of reasons. Misses and whatnot. I was going to put a damper on most of that. Um, you only got a level 1 piloting. Hack is fully repaired. And there it goes. Alright. Ugh. So we're kind of hoping on the artillery fire to do our dirty work for us. Which is sad. Exceptionally sad. That's the way it is. Let's go on engines. Make sure he's not going anywhere. Doesn't look like he's planning to though, so that's good. Man, this was annoying. Yep. Pretty awesome. I'm boring. Turn that into a level one hack. <sighs> 10 scrap, 18. Alright. Now we need some crew. If you could fill up that teleporter. Uh, 85. Huh? Yep. That's a double shot, which we have. Let's try it. See what else he's got. Fire. Mm. We can probably deal with that. A lot of crew though, and those doors aren't really helping too much either. We'll see what we can do against those doors. Alright, everyone, get your butt into that teleporter. Ideally, we will heal up our crew. Ah, oh, shit. Just when that's about to fire, that's brilliant. Okay. Okay, get in there. And you run as well. OK. 
come on. Great. And good. Get back into the big room. Thank you, artillery. That would have been the trusty autopilot achievement. Alright, we've got an NG who will also join our boarding party, I guess. Odd, but whatever. A pulsar! And a mantis ship to boot. Hmm. If I can take this thing out, I can usually... I think I can board without too much problems. Ugh. Our teleporter is offline. Hmm. It's a bit of a nuisance. That's a miss, altogether. Don't know which of the two weapons that ended up taking out, but we're boarding anyway. Got the correct one. Good. Right, let's pour in. Um, that's probably what we're gonna be wanting to go with. Alright, well, the artillery is almost ready to fire. Uh, why are you in not in any room? We'll salt this fight if you can. You are injured, you are injured. Uh, you are injured. There we go, good use of those artillery bombs. Nice. It's great when a plan comes together. Cool. Alright, well that's your normal spot. That's gonna be yours. We'll save this. And we're clear. Target acquired, huh? No, we don't need this. I probably won't need this. It's gonna take us quite a while, though. I don't th that could be a double shot. Could be. Alright, so we can basically just auto-fire both of our weapons and just sit tight. Mm. Yep. Alright, let's go for that now. Might get some evasions out of this. And if not evasions, then some levels for our shield man. care of that, but I'm not gonna fire at weapons yet. I'm gonna restart and get some levels as well. One more shot. Boarding with an NG. <laughs> 
It works. It's another body. So. Okay. Here, here, here. Okay. Hope none of these are fleet advancers. That would be a problem. This is just straight up nothing. And here we have. Ah, eh, sure. We got a fight out of it. Not gonna be a great fight, but. Well. Well, the moment we come board, we're done. And we'll board with three people. Come on, fix those engines and let's go. Might have been a bit of a risk. We're good. Boom. Wow, five fuel. Thank you. Uh, what do we do with that? I think we just buy some power, right? Okay. More combat. Only two people. The bombs probably won't hurt us. I just bored with everyone again. Would be a shame to let a perfectly good three slot teleporter go to waste, wouldn't you think? Apparently NGs do as much system damage as every other crew member. Which has its has its perks. We've got a store. 47, I wouldn't mind giving a look at that. Uh, able to make a quick deal and we got some stuff to sell. Ooh, chain laser. Means we now have three shots available if we need them. Alright. Good. We've got some offensive power. Ah. Oh. oh well. Uh smog warning rebel supply base. Let's go, Rebel. They're kind of a crapshoot on what they are going to have, but. We're only facing humans, and we can take humans. Right. Need to get a store, but we've got nothing to sell. So we're just gonna ignore it and move on. Hopefully, a lot of combat awaits us. Well, I said I was just looking for combat, and we got it. Well, uh, keep the artillery up. I don't want you to, to destroy any of that. But it didn't really help. At least I tried. Yes. Doesn't happen that often that the weapon you actually want gone is the one that actually goes offline. So thanks for that one. Uh, let's go with that now. Gonna ionize everything he has. I 
giving me a pretty darn nice opening. Neat. Alright, we got some stuff out of that. Um... I don't think we need any more power looking at things. I mean, if we borrow everyone, we can always drive from our engines. Which we won't be using if we board with everyone. Ooh. Still, could be worse. Especially if they plan on boarding us. If we can kill those too. Taking down one of their weapons would provide us with the safety we so like. Yes. Uh, did we kill that one? Yes, we did. Doesn't look like a very potent medbay if I'm looking at this correctly. But I would like to take it out before anything else. Yes, it's just a level one. Let's board. Will he... Uh, we'll take the NG with us. Mm, I don't think we need the heal, so we're just gonna keep punching him. And shooting, and maiming, and whatnot. Didn't cause a flea delay, but that's okay. Wasn't in hard fight anyway. Could go to the store, but I'd rather not. Let's upgrade weapons once more so we can get everything online. It's an AI ship. They were safe, that's a one shot, that's a one shot. Means we have no need for our artillery. Also means we're going to keep their weapons going. Because it can level up our crew some more. It should be nice. Level up all the things. Uh, sure. Alright. Well, that'll happen every once in a while. So that's why I don't really take surrender offers from AI ships all that much. Because they can be jerks about it. Okay, that was good. Attack, sure. Power up the artillery here. Pretty much the same ordeal, he can't really hurt us. <laughs> Denied. I'm just ionizing the bomb, because that thing could be annoying and I don't want that. Done. Plasma Thrower Mark II would be awesome if you had Rockman. We do not. Theodore takes two power though. Yep. Eight shots. Could cause a lot of fires with that. But oh well. Um, yeah, we'll sell drone parts. Sure. That's a big missile drone. <clears throat> it's gonna be a while until we take that thing out. Well, not really, but still. It's gonna hurt pretty heftily, though. Damage per shot. 
All right, can't wait to pour in with everybody. Do not allow them to fix that. And just to make sure that they aren't running either. There we go. Sure, he's almost good to go. A bomb actually landing in shields would be ideal. Although we might end the fight before we actually need it. Ah, first bomb is going for shields. Look at that. Uh, take them as prisoners. Some extra power would probably go a long way. Although... No. PDS. That's dangerous. And we're fighting the ice ship. What's up with all the ice ships, huh? Yeah, ships, missiles, and whatnot. I already destroyed that, you dumbass. We had more time than that. Hmm, intruders on board are annoying. Where's our door system anyway? There it is. Appreciate if you weren't gonna go for doors, but I'm pretty sure doors are gonna be on no. Looks like you're going for my teleporter instead. Whoops. Well, that's the end of your life. Okay, everyone back. I'm gonna let this stick up a bit. I don't know why, but I got this inkling feeling it's gonna get destroyed or hacked pretty soon. Paranoid is... Being paranoid is starting to set in a bit more than usual. 50's probably fine. Mm, couldn't go here, 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 and then there, I think. Here, moves to here. Yeah. Ah, brilliant. A cruiser. We'll hit weapons first before we pour in. And that's something I like to see, which means we are going to wait a little bit longer in order to also take down the med bay. And there it goes. Everyone, report to the teleporter. We're going in. You still got people repairing weapons, but I don't think you're going to be in time in order to do anything about this onslaught. Uh, taking out the doors would probably help a bit, see if we can make that happen. And we did. Alright, um, well, might as well go get healed. There we go. Shook those t 
two in there up as well to come and fight. Fleet delayed by three jumps. Now there's something you don't see every day. Means we can take our time to do all of these for sure. Another semi cruisery type thing, huh? Uh, are we in danger? Well, this thing can probably take out shields, but I don't see a medbay or anything of the likes, so let's just straight off the board. And that hack is gonna be annoying. Alright, you stop going there, go that way. And then you can go into the teleporter. Go for this one. That's gonna hurt, and probably even kill us. No, it didn't. Okay. I wouldn't worry about that fire too much. No. Can't stop ya. Well, I probably could if I send y'all into shields. Yeah, let's do that. Damn it. There you go. Ah, uh, oh, crap. Shouldn't have fired the ion stunner. Oh, but my crew made it out. Bam, bam. There you go. Alright, let's go to shields now. So, a lot of scrap, but not a lot to do with it. This could either kill me or save me. I don't really know what's going to happen. Alright. It's gonna kill me, it seems. Yep. One shot at that missile launcher is going to finish us off. Which means I have to try and make sure that missile doesn't fire, which is not really gonna be possible. Oh, well, we have to try, right? I don't think it's gonna work. Yep, there goes the missile, and we're dead. We're not dead. We're close to death, though. Rebels realize they should not have messed with you like this. They attempt to retreat. To where? I mean, seriously, to where? We got one hole left, which means if I now find a store, I could actually get tough little ship. An achievement I never actually gotten. Because it was... Well, it's not in my nature to go down to one hole, even if it's just for... Uh, uh, undoubtedly, these rebels will act against the Federation if set free, but you decide to uphold the Federation principles of offering protection to unarmed POWs. One of the rebels has became deeply disillusioned due to what happened, offering to defect and serve aboard your ship from now on. But why is it a NG? Hmm, that should be a human. Alright, well, we've got you for the teleporter then. Uh, unless... yeah, you're the new guy. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find a store. Uh, if I get tough little ship, this wouldn't have all been for naught, at least. Uh, stay out of their way, see if we can find a store. It's also the reason why I'm jumping into a thing like that. Fleet delayed, socialize, human, continue. No store, and we're trying to stay away from the stress beacons as well. Cool, and he's a fighter. No store. Enemy ship hopefully doesn't have anything to hurt me with. Uh, doesn't look like it. So let's just go. Mm, that might become a problem.
but not just yet. And once we take out that mad baby, we can board with all of our dudes. And we have to keep a close eye on what our crew is like, though. Alright, let's try to finish this quickly. Before our crew gets shot up too much. Alright, we've got another person. Uh, the four of you can go repair to that. Uh, air is still not on. Hmm. That wasn't smart. I might have to send you over. Still no store. Let's see if there's anyone, any of those down there. Still no store. Dudes, come on. This is supposed to be some kind of messed up NG sector. Still no store. And a store. Alright. Well, let's see what we have. Uh -huh. uh, cloaking. Yeah. Alright, this should give me tough little ship. Nope. Probably because I'm not flying with the Kestrel. Alright, well. We learned that now. Cloaking, yes. Ah, there it is. Tough little ship. Just took a while. Alright. Don't really know if the recon teleport has blue options here. That would be kind of neat, though. Yeah, it will help. Okay, uh, we now have a devoted flying crew and weapon man. Um, I think I'm going to use the slug for boarding, so I'm just going to heal him up as well. Uh, you are going to need some health as well. So I'm just going to send in everyone that needs healing. Because we're not really facing a terrible, terrible threat here. We've got our cloak ready. Ah, uh, you should be fine, right? Yeah, you're fine. Hey, I was sort of using that. And uh, now it's on fire. Alright. Cool. So you're healed. I'll wait for the air to run back in. Alright, so you're probably going to be piloting, and the four of you are going to be boarding. Good thing our captain's a red shirt. That's probably not going to cause any problems, right? Oh, so much distress. It's not the safest thing to do. Uh, pa -pa -da -pa 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 -pa. If we can prevent it, we will not fight them. You know, crew health and whatnot.
I think they'll take out a level 2 of those. And... Dead. See if we can rescue these, although I doubt it. No. Could have sent these after them. They could have used the experience, I think. Right, plenty of time left. Sure. I see no med base of the kinds, and I think we can be Ninji and whatever that thing is. We don't need to worry unless a shield bubble breaks down, because that thing can pierce one. Only has one shot to it, though, as well. And we won't depower our oxygen. Yeah. We'll give it a first shot, just to be in the clear. Oh, let's we'll try to. And that puts us in... Yeah, that makes us safe. Okay. Four humans versus one NG, one Mantis. I don't know how this is gonna go. Looks like we're gonna be just fine. Next! Yes, give us all the fuel. Um, sure, I'm usually not too happy with going with distress beacons on quarantine sectors. Yeah, there's nothing. Uh, your room, Captain. Some of my oath. Should be with my people. I've got an extra human. I thought I had another human. Guess our slug is gonna be a border anyway. Whoops. Wait, how did that happen anyway? Don't you start off with three humans? Did I already lose a crew member somewhere? Hmm. I can't remember losing a crew member. Well, I should like we'll join the temporary boarding party. Find the mantis and Kamen, but there are far too many of them. Leave before temp not being noticed. It's okay, we won't have to do worry about the PD, PB, blah, 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 that stuff. Uh, put, 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 put. Pretty sure we could have lost a crew member from that, so no. Auto shipyard. Oh, crap. Not really what I was hoping for, let me tell you. Well, we gotta get through it anyway, so let's go. This is not an auto shipyard. Artillery. Interesting choice. We will punch you on your weapons first, though, if at all possible, because that thing can hurt us. As it pierces one layer of shields. I think we can board now. Whoa. You glitched out a little bit. We should be able to win this without too much problems, and it looks like we are going to, yes. Although I want to get you out. There we go. Industrial machinery to sell off. <laughs> well, we are at a shipyard, 
Granted, that it's a rebel one, but it would slightly make sense that we could sell it here. Hmm. Eight seconds off. Would that be useful to us? It might. But I think I'd rather go look for a store and upgrade our weapons. Maybe get hacking in instead. There, there we go. That's an AI ship and I ever saw one. Can you actually cause problems? Well, yes, with that border drone. Which you probably will go fight a few times. Your weapons can be an issue as well, it seems. Well, this is not going to be fun to take care of then. Would be wise to go for shields, I think. Can't send in too many people for that one. This one was on shields. Alright, go. This is where we get our free pot shots in. Close it up. I think shields are down. There you go. There you go. Off you go. You two can go take care of that breach. No stores. Well, being able to take down level... Th well, a ship with level 3 shields is uh, a good thing. We got lucky we didn't miss too many shots. Sure. Well, you got cloaking. Well, considering how that last one go went, I can't be too pissed off about the high amount of misses on that one. We'll probably send people to their stations, right? Uh, where's my sort of gunner here? No, no. He dead! Uh, he's out of missiles, which means we're safe, which means we'll have to take you down tactically, and tactically would mean go for their drones first. Took the weapon offline, but that's not something I truly care about. Let's try something else. Yeah. Okay. Thought it would happen like that. I thought if I only did one damage to it, it would take this thing off, not the hull repair. I was wrong. Dead wrong. So we're gonna wait for the artillery, unfortunately, until that hits. Preferably shields. And piloting. But definitely shields. Uh, two misses, three misses. Well, I hope you're not going anywhere, because I'm not. Uh, 
<sighs> I could just start shooting at it. I know that, right? And I probably could do a good amount of hull damage on it. But I don't want it to run. Which means I want drones to be out completely. Or at least the shield so I can hit it hard every single time. Which means I need the ion damage from the artillery. Mm, that's on drones. Well, let's give it a go. Although I th still think this thing's online. Yeah, it is. And it's got... System casing! System casing, system casing. Which is great. Just super. Well, I shot down a drone. Huh. <sighs> The problem is this thing can repair faster than I can shoot. As far as I can tell. Especially when I miss as frequently as I am. So I need shields and that to be down, which means I got an extra shot, which means I might be able to take down the drones. Because if this thing is going to run or explode, he's going to go big. Weapons, piloting, and a miss. Not good enough. Hmm. <laughs> I can stun the drone. Well, oh. fancy that. So it doesn't look like you guys got any more drones left, which means if I can destroy that one, he's got nothing anymore. I'm just hoping he's not hoping to run. Which he might. Bah. This is boring. I'm bored. Weapons, miss and miss. Yep, told you he'd run. But without the, sis without the thing repairing, we might destroy him before he runs off. Nope, because he's got the quickest engines in the world. It's probably on a timer, that one. Can't say a... Ugh, mind control, really? You're coming at me with that shit? Ah, that was some strong language and a half. Uh, Clombe needs to go, mind control needs to go, weapons needs to go. This ship has a lot on us. And I do mean a lot. Come on. Uh, no need to dodge that. Uh, now we do. Well, let's not try to m miss every shot this time. Um, what's the most dangerous part? I think the mind control. Uh, that's offline, yeah. Let's try to prevent them from fixing anything. Artillery will be ready to fire in a short bit. We'll stun if you can. And hit that there and hit that there. Did not take anything off the line though. Anyone in a any bomb in a big room? No. Do we need a big one? Do we need to heal? Mm, doesn't look like it. So we can cloak through that if you want to. Uh, we should. Cool. Um, their ship looks to be on the verge of destruction and life signs are fading quickly. Artillery, use the cluster healing bomb to keep them alive. You launch a cluster healing bomb into the ship and the nanobots are able to keep the crew stabilized. Once they come to, you send over some medical supplies to keep them healthy enough to get to friendly territory. Now that they're safe, a weapons operator officer join your crew and the rest tell you of a hidden federation base a few jumps from here. Added a quest marker to your map. So that was a uh, custom blue option for the medivac. 
means you can go back to your posts as a pilot and you can go back to your business somewhere else because the rock is definitely joining the boarding crew and more so you're going to stand on uh, that spot all right um i'm gonna be right back Actually, I'm just gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still in the series. Feel free to show support by commenting, liking, and or subbing. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.